Hi, welcome to Geekdom. I'm your host, Don. Today we're going to be going over NIMS Linux. Uh, NIMSLinux.com here. This is a Nagios um, customized package actively being developed by Robbie Ferguson. Uh, link to his information below, link to the website. Um, it is one of those things that's constantly evolving. Robbie does a ton of work on this. Um, always adding features, um, quick response with bugs and stuff. If you look at the change log here, you can see. Um, shameless plug, I am a patron. Um, just because I do believe in this product. Um, and the time and effort he's spent into this. Um, today we're going to be going over uh, installing this on a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi 3B, to be exact. Um, so, get NIMS Linux. Select Raspberry Pi. Here are the supported versions. Um, when I first started, I did try running this on a 0W and it ran fine for monitoring two things. Um, after a while that just did not work. So we're going to download it. And I've already got it downloaded so I'm going to fire up Etcher here. So we're going to select the image. There it is. SD card. And we're going to install. Now this does take quite a bit of time depending on your setup, your SD card, uh, the computer you're flashing it on. Uh, so go quick edit. We're back. Now I'm going to put the Cameo, uh, Camtasia uh, timer up here. Just to show you, right now I'm pulling the card out. Um, you don't have to set up headless mode on this. Robbie's already done that for you. He's already set up Samba. Um, so I'm plugging it into the Raspberry Pi and firing it up. This does, um, just like with any, any Raspbian install, it's going to boot up, expand the file system, reboot again. Um, but I just, with the timer, I just want, to, want you to see how quickly it is from the time you put that SD card in to you're up and monitoring things. So we'll give it a minute here. Alright, this is the first startup. Okay, it's expanded the file system. It's rebooting. Now it's only been a minute, but it seems like an eternity. Um, but I really want you to see that real time of firing it up, initializing it. So you will need to know your IP address. Um, I myself, I set up static IPs for my Raspberry Pis and my router. Um, a couple different ways you can get that. So we're going to go ahead and putty in. Now to begin with, uh, the default username and password is nimsadmin. All lowercase, all one word. Comes up with some nice information here. Let's see if I can beat the clock here. Two minutes. We're going to do sudo nims dash init. It's going to ask for that nims admin password. You're going to set up your uh, your time zones here, your local localities. Still think it's funny Petersburg is in the time zone list. Uh, I choose default on these just because I, I'm not fully 100% understanding what all of it is, but it seems to work. So, just within 35 40 seconds already, we've already, you know. Start the initialization. Um, it's going to ask you what you want your username to be. This is going to be your sudo user account. This is what you SSH in with. This is what you log into the web GUIs with. Um, so go ahead and create a username, password. Fill in the email address that you want to get uh, alerts from the system on. Now you can set up other ones. Uh, that'll be um, once you actually get into the, the end comp to configure it. So we're a little over a, a minute of doing the NIMS init. And right now it's expanding the packages. It's 
building. So there, it created my account. It transferred all the stuff from Nims Admin over to Don. And look at that, a minute and 45 seconds, it's, it's finished. So we're going to do a uh, quick reboot here. Quick edit. Okay, after reboot, we're going to uh, log in with that new username and password we created. And we're back up and running. Okay, now we're going to switch over to a browser. That's where you're going to need your IP address again. So just go ahead and type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and your IP. Okay, first off you get an initial uh, summary of how your system's running. Um, there is a become a patron button, so please if you enjoy this and you use this product, please consider doing that. We're going to go to Configuration, NIM System Setting Tools. Log in with that same username and password that we created. Okay, so on the General tab here, uh, NIM Server Alias, you can change your server name, uh, how you want updates installed, um, what you want that background of that dashboard to be. Uh, it does have AD integration down here. Um, I'm going to do a shameless plug and put my logo up. Okay. So, next tab is NIMS Cloud Service. This is if you're a certain level of patron. Um, it gives you the opportunity to back your NIMS server up to the cloud, to Robbie's Cloud. Uh, notifications here, I'm going to be setting this up for my uh, G Suite Basic account. SMTP Relay. There are other SMTP Relays out there. Um, just whatever you're, you're familiar with. Uh, from is who it's going to be sending from. Uh, this is my Gmail login here and my password. Save settings. You do see a couple other options for uh, push notifications. Uh, TV dashboard. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing a video later on that and some other features. All right, so now it's saved. We're going to test that email setup we just did. So, go back to our putty session. And here you can do a sudo, if I could type nims dash mail test and then the email address you want to send the test to. Yeah, pop in the password. Okay, so no error so far. Now let's switch over to my email. And right there we got test notification. So that part is working. And we're good. Okay, now switching back over to the uh, the GUI. Oh, and click on here um, just to go back to that dashboard, so you can see that the uh, the logo uploaded. Now we need to go in and start configuring things to monitor. So we're going to go to configuration, NIMS configurator, uh, nconf. Again, that same username and password. If I can type it correctly. Okay, so we go here and go to host and show. Uh, your NIMS server is automatically added in for a couple basic monitoring things. Um, contacts, like I said earlier, you can come in here and you can add more email addresses uh, for more people, especially if you're in like an IT shop. You can add uh, your text to it. Um, services, uh, advanced services, um, a lot of things you can monitor here. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and add a host in. I'm going to add my desktop here. 
punch in the IP address. Now anything with a red asterisk next to it, you have to fill in. And this is a Windows machine. You do have to set the uh, monitor by. I don't want to know if my computer's off in the middle of the night. So I'm going to put notifications to work hours. I'm here just setting up a couple parameters for the, the monitoring notification. And as you get more into the system, you can see what how you want to tweak it for yourself. Okay. So let's go ahead and add a service. Now you can use host groups to add you know specific uh, services to a group at a time. Since we're just doing one here, I'm going to go in and find ping. Yep. And then click the save button. And now we're going to generate the the configuration. So here we've got zero warnings, zero errors, which is good. Drop this down just kind of see what was done. And now we're going to deploy that. And that's going to put it into production. So let's go back to the main page, reporting. Adiagos. Same username, same password. Okay. So we've already got some red off the board internet monitoring speed I, I am on DSL so I do need to go in and tweak that host we can see Jarvis is already on here and it's showing ping is up so good we've added a host we've got it being tested for ping so let's switch back over and let's see if it if it will tell when it's not pinging. So I'm going to put in an IP address. I know it's going to nothing. Oh, yep. I, you can add contact groups. I forgot to point that out earlier. Uh, submit. Yes. Again, generate the config. Deploy. Let's switch back over to the reporting. Gonna refresh the check. When you do that, you do need to refresh your browser. And look at that, it's down. So for whatever reason, real environment, um, that would have been good. So this is just a, a, a quick down and dirty video of how to, how to deploy NIMS, uh, start monitoring some things. Um, and obviously there's a ton more stuff uh, that you can do with it. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more follow-up videos. Um, questions, comments, concerns, please put a comment below. Uh, if you found anything useful in this product, please, please uh, consider becoming a patron. Um, if you found this video informing or enter entertaining, or if you even like Frank, my script kitty here, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like button, and I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time.